Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Braden said he wanted to meet me here because he had an, a video idea and it was going to be a surprise, but, well, I'm here on time. And if you know anything about Braden, he's never here on time, so, yeah, I guess I'll just fucking wait around for him. Just heard some funny revving, but it doesn't sound like the Salik, uh, holy shit, guys. You certainly did, and this certainly is a surprise. <laughs> She's back. She is back. Uh, GXP wheels, Sean and I bought like a month and a half ago. The video that you saw of it going into the shop, that was a long time ago, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. That was a really long time I ago. I think it's been years. Maybe years, yeah. Two years, for those who know. Yes. But anyway, we bought these wheels probably a month ago. We didn't film it because like we just rode the Elantra. There's no point in filming it. We've got a new V6 under the hood, new shocks in the back, new brakes on it. We're ready to go. All right, guys. So as usual with this car, nothing ever happens easy. Literally nothing. No, not a single thing. No. Sparks, let's do plugs and wires, dude. Only take, it's a nine hour job. Yeah, it was supposed to be what? What did we say, two hours? At the most. Yeah, that night ended at 4 a.m. But anyway, so the original engine that was in this car went bad and you'd think you'd only have to do the engine swap once, right? Well, no. This V6, it actually took two swaps to get us here. So when it first went, when it got to the shop, it got the wrong motor put in it because a Bonneville was already in their yard. This Bonneville showed up, so the guys thought, ah, Bonneville motor and Bonneville motor. And that wasn't the motor I originally bought. We'll get to that in a second. But when they put that motor in, cylinder three had no compression in it whatsoever. So it should have been done, uh, what, beginning of August, late July. And you guys are only seeing this stuff, the first video now in August because of the delay. But this is now the engine it's supposed to have, which came out of a 2004 or five Buick LeSabre, the one that just did buck horn and back its whole life. And this one has, well, I'm gonna keep the mileage to myself for confidential reasons. The fear of Max killing me. There's an eight, a four, and a two in there. That's fair enough. You guys can guess. Yep. What they also did is, well, don't mind the, the body work. Body work's a match. But if you look in there, it's hard to see, but we do have new shock Let's absorbers. Stick the camera in so they can see absolutely nothing. Yeah. They the, might be able to tell. But there's new not. shock absorbers back there. It rides better than it probably ever has in its life because it actually has control in the rear end now, which is something it never had before. He was showing you guys this piece of shit Pontiac. I don't know if you guys will see it. Maybe he'll have to zoom in and post. There's actually a good Pontiac over there, a red convertible of some sort. No. All right. So now that the car is back, everyone's probably wondering. Well, no one's wondering, but everyone's probably thinking, what an idiot. And yeah, you might be right. But anyway, the plan for this car is eventually I'd like to restore it. And this is going to be the channel kind of sleep, sleeper highway missile. Because some of you might know, I'm sure my Pontiac boys down in the States, you guys will know, you can get a 3.8 liter supercharged V6 in these cars and with injectors a pulley and a tune they make upwards of 300 horsepower which isn't stupid fast but for just a cruiser that'd be plenty fast for me that's going to be the plan for this car in terms of like reasonable budgeting if I was going to go all out we'd redo the whole thing we could drop it on air ride it'd be a whole thing Sean's laughing at me because he thinks I'm an idiot if you could spin the camera and demonstrate that <laughs> 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 anyway that's what our plan is for the car. You'll see it on vlogs from time to time because it's back. It is going to go back into storage in the winter time. So once the winter months hit, you're not really going to see a whole lot of it anymore. Aside from recreation of the video we did on our Instagram channel of it doing snow nuts. Yes, we will bring it out at least once to do snow nuts. May have to contact Johnny Noble for that. You guys remember him because he was the one of the stars of that Instagram video. You have to scroll way back on our Instagram page. We did that in like what? January 2018, I think. Something like that. Yeah, long time ago. All right, guys, so this is probably just going to be a little bit of a shorter upload today because, well, we just got her back on the road. We're probably going to go. We've already been cruising around a little bit. You guys have heard most of the stories. If we remember, we forgot anything. I mean, this car will be in a bunch of videos before it goes away for the winter. Uh, this car splits opinions. Some people really love it. Some people are just indifferent to this thing. Some people hate it. Shorter upload today. The Bonneville is back. Super exciting video. So I'm just going to, you know, get the excitement out and get it over with, wrap the video up. 
the Bonneville is back. It'll be causing trouble. It'll be pissing off Karens as we do. Uh, modifications for potentially the exhaust coming. It needs an alignment. That's not a modification, but potentially the exhaust. Your opinion on that, sir? Uh, no, but supercharge it. Oh yeah, it's, it's getting supercharged. Don't you guys worry. It's going to get a blower at some point. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Punch it for me, my dude. This is just how it goes with this car. Man, engine swap and some things just never change. <laughs>